Do you feel like making an exploding box, but you've never done it? Don't worry, this tutorial is just for you. Today, we'll show how to surprise your friends with the fabulous gift. We'll make a three-layered exploding box. For the outer layer, we'll need color cardstock 15 inches by 15 inches. Mark your cardboard every 5 inches along the border. Connect the marks with parallel lines. The cardboard looks like a tic-tac-toe board. Cut off the four corners. We've got the plus sign box base. Score up the lines with an empty ballpoint pen. Fold the cardboard along the lines, forming the walls. Crease the folds with the ruler to make them sharper. Make the middle layer in the same way, using a smaller cardstock square. Trim the cardboard to 13 and a half inches. Mark it every four and a half inches. We'll need three identical plus sign layers. The measurements are getting smaller each time. Decorate the smallest inner layer of crimson color with scrapbook paper. We've prepared four inch by four inch squares. Attach them with white glue. Add some embellishments, a tag, and a mini envelope. You can buy them in a handmade supply shop or make them from color paper. Take a 4 inch by 4 inch color square paper. Fold the diagonal. Unfold. Turn the diagonal corners to the center to overlap a little. Be careful to make the parallel creases. Fold the bottom up to cover the edge of the side flaps. Smooth the crease carefully. Fold in the corner. Bend the top flap down. Unfold the top and bottom. Apply the glue to the bottom edge. Fold it back again and press over. It'll take you a couple of minutes to make this charming little envelope. Decorate another square with cute hearted clothespins. They could hold a photo or nice picture. Use multi-purpose glue. You can purchase these embellishments at a special store or use the handmade ones. Take parchment paper. Outline simple images like a heart and lips. You can try a few variants of different size. Cover the images with hot glue. Don't worry about the outline. When dry, cut them out. The excess glue will be removed. Cover the heart with the stationary glue. Apply a thick coat with a brush. Spread glitter all over the heart. Shake off the excess. The sparkly scarlet heart is ready. Cover the lips with pink nail polish. When dry, add a central line between the upper and lower lips. Use a permanent marker. Outline the lips to make them more distinct. Make a cute little star embellishment. Apply a star sticker to a little color paper square. The unique handmade embellishments are ready. Attach them to the little decorative pins using the multi-purpose glue. Attach the red heart to the yellow pin, the star to the red one, and the lips to the yellow one. The eye-catching decorative pins will embellish any paper craft. You can choose any simple image. It'll take a little time and effort and ordinary paper craft materials to make these beautiful handmade embellishments. Continue decorating the box. Add a tag to the heart embellished wall and go to another square. Take a scrapbook paper square and make a gatefold. Cut out some wording or a picture. Put the picture in the gatefolded paper. Attach to the base. Add a few brightly colored stars. Cute, isn't it? 
Prepare color paper for the fourth square. Attach each page across the top. You should get a small notepad. Add a tag. Now, let's decorate the central part. Take thick color paper, 5 inches by 5 inches. Mark a 1 inch border around all four sides of your paper. Connect the marks with parallel lines. Score up the lines. Fold the scored lines. Starting at the lower right corner of your paper, cut the vertical line up to the horizontal line so that you have a little flap. Turn your paper 90 degrees and do this to every corner until you have four flaps. Fold the flaps clockwise and glue them to the sides to get a little box. We'll use the box as a stand for the gift. That's why we attach it to the central square upside down. Use the multi-purpose glue. Add a few sparkly stripes. We took the store-bought variety, but you can use the DIY one. Just spread the glitter over the paper stripes covered with glue. Place the central piece on the stand. It may be an accessory or embellishment. You can either glue it if it's a decorating element or put it on loose if it's a gift. Now we'll decorate the middle layer of the exploding box. Choose the pattern paper of the appropriate size. Attach to each wall. It can be color or scrapbook paper bought at the store, photos or DIY printed paper. Take the material you like. Finally, we'll embellish the outer layer. It's the biggest. Decorate the walls in the same style. We've chosen the stunning pink flamingo pattern. It perfectly matches the background of the same color. Now it's time to assemble the box. Fasten the central squares of each layer, leaving the walls loose. Attach the inner layer. The exploding box is nearly ready. We're gonna leave the box alone for a while. Let's make a cute little gift for a sweet lover. Take a foam plastic ball. Cut it into three parts. We won't need the middle part, put it aside. Take the other two parts and cut off the tops. Continue cutting off the excess plastic to make a smooth curve. The ready halves should look like a macaroon. Add color to the dessert. Take two felt circles of a bright color. They should be bigger in size than the macaroon. The felt is a resilient material that can shape any object. Press the felt circle over the macaroon half and pull up a little at the edge, turning the detail around. Hot glue to the bottom. The macaroon base is ready. To make the macaroon look natural and stick the halves together, let's add a filling. Take a white felt strip 1 inch by 8 inches. Fold it in half across the length, adding the hot glue in small portions. Done! Hot glue the filling, little by little, to the macaroon half. Cover the bottom of the other part with the hot glue and join the halves. Press down to attach. You can put this bright, real-like macaroon inside the exploding box and make a nice surprise for a sweet lover. You can use it as an embellishment, a keychain, or a tasty fridge magnet. You can turn it into a cute accessory really quick. Let's return to finishing the exploding box. Check how it folds. Perfectly! Make the lid. Take cardstock 10 inches by 10 inches. We've marked it out. There's a 5 inch by 5 inch square in the center and 2 and a half inches at each side. Make the same cuts you made for the small central stand box. Cut the vertical line up to the horizontal line. Repeat on each side. Score the rest of the lines to make folding easier and sharper creases. Fold the flaps and glue them clockwise to the sides. Embellish the lid with a thin ribbon. Attach the ends with the multi-purpose glue. 
Attach another ribbon crosswise. Tie a bow. Attach it to the lid. A nice package for a gift, isn't it? Let's see what we've got. Well, the box looks like a cute but usual gift package. But if you remove the lid, boom! Whoa, a surprise! What an incredible explosion. It's so pretty and fascinating. What is in the envelope? Here it is, a secret note in the overgates. Wow, lovely red hearts on the pins. And a colored notepad and a charming gift as the central piece on the little stand. We've managed to create a wonderful exploding box. It may look intimidating, but it's absolutely simple. Even if you make it for the first time, you'll definitely succeed. And your little gift packed in such a lovely box will be a success too. Subscribe to Troom Troom. We'll be happy to see the newcomers. Give your thumbs up if you liked the video. Remember to click on the bell to hear it ringing when the new video has been loaded.